Uh, hiya. Up on my test bench today you have XP Pen 22 inch drawing tablet. I reckon I'd just do a short video of unboxing and the driver installation since drivers seem to be the number one thing a lot of people had issues with. Now, I had intended to do this quite some time ago. How long ago you ask? Yep, that's right. The 10th of September. Now, if you follow me on the internet and all the many places that I am on, you know that I have many, many projects all the time. And, well, to be honest, work sucks. I am always working, always busy. And if I'm not busy, I have friends, family. <clears throat> It's kind of nice that it's double box there, really stout box, but everybody's always asking me for help. Right now, I just so happen to have been sent home from work, as I'm not feeling too very good. So, good time to make a video, take advantage of this free time that I have. And I must say, I'm very, very surprised for a product from China, how stout this cardboard is. It's kind of nice to see that. First up, so we've got a box of one kilogram of attachments. So probably all your leaves and whatnot. I reckon that uh, may be a screen protector. Very well packed. I like to see that, especially when you look at the amount of money you spend on such a device. Granted, this is nowhere near a uh, Wacom Cintiq, which, yeah, you know, honestly, considering how long this has sat, I'm kind of glad I didn't buy a Cintiq. That had been, you know, it's sad enough already. This sat for as long as I did, but a Cintiq sitting for that number of months would have been a disgrace. Oh, there we go. I will say, I did buy this on Amazon. I may post a link to the particular seller that I had bought it from. It's hard on Amazon sometimes to decipher if you know who you're dealing with, but it appeared that this seller was XP Pen themselves. But I'll let you be the judge of that. Anyways. Now for the box of goodies. USB A to B. Hi. Right. Two USB A to B's, VGA cable. Probably not going to use that. Power lead. Oh, looks like the display port to HDMI. Very useful. Power pack. Get the stylus. Another stylus. Holder. HDMI to HDMI. USB to, that might be the charging cable for the pen, I reckon. That's a very, very tiny uh, connector. And another one of those. Artist glove. And it appears our cleaner and a whole packet of owner's manuals, uh, software and drivers, which for the sake of this, considering how long, excuse me, how long it's been that I've had this sitting, I'll probably just download the uh, latest drivers. So yeah, there we go. I've got it all ready to go. Power lead, USB, HDMI. Now this is not going to be a review. Like I said, there's plenty of reviews on the internet, on YouTube, whatever. But I will agree with most of the reviews that I've seen that the leads coming out of the bottom of this unit, as you can see, is a real PITA 
if you want to have it nice and flat like this on the bench. However, I reckon you might be able to take the stand, remove it from the vest mount, maybe rotate it 180 degrees, and then on your video settings on your computer, rotate the image 180 degrees, so the leads will be from the top. Not sure if that'll work, but at least that's what I'll try. And another thing I thought I'd mention is that I initially did not like the idea of the power supply being, you know, a big clunky box like this and, you know, in the middle of the lead. However, I don't recognize that brand. Seems to be a, uh, you know, run-of-the-mill Chinese generic power supply. And if you had any experience with those, I've had a lot of bad experiences with cheap Chinese power supplies and they they let the magic smoke out, they explode. But this is just a basic 12 volt 3 amp power supply. And I believe it's likely a center, yeah there it is. The center tip is positive so it would be easy to find a quality replacement of this. And another thing I had noticed, this is a, a quality Toshiba power supply from a known good brand, you know from a laptop. It's got the C-tick mark. There is no C-tick mark on here. In addition to this supply has a whole bunch of other uh, quality control and regulation uh, approvals that are missing from here. So, you know, I'll take it with a grain of salt. That will probably be the first thing that, you know, I'll, I'll get a quality supply before that goes bad. And this will be tested on my test rig here, Windows 7 Ultimate. Clean install, there's absolutely no software on here. And the drivers I will download from the XP Pen site, which I will probably post a link in, you know, the bottom of the video. But they will be the latest as of the 13th of January 2017. So, yeah. Normally I would install drivers first, then connect to hardware. However, the manual states differently. So, I'm a technical person, but a lot of people who will be using this, they're artists, they may not be technical, and they are likely to follow the manual step by step. So we will do exactly as the manual says. That's kind of my main intention of this video, is to see if, you know, this will be how the out of box experience will be for a typical person. So, connect up the USB to a free USB available port. HDMI to the HDMI port. And last but not least, the power lead. Now the manual did state to turn on the monitor first. Attention, burn in mode. Hmm. I don't know what that's all about. This must be a first time initialization maybe. Seems to be going through the color spectrum. <clears throat> Let's see if I had about enough of that. Okay, now that says no signal. So we'll turn on the PC. We are so your device is ready to use and there it appears it has found the USB to input devices autoplay Mac driver Windows driver XP pin so we'll just go for the gun setup.exe The installation has completed so here we are after a fresh restart which is another thing the manual stated to do after installing the drivers ah okay I see I was wondering what was going on and it seems that the cursor is moving there but not on here and that might be I do remember seeing this on the review that this is likely caused by the displays being an extension instead of duplication and 
So we'll set this to duplicate displays and it's going to bitch because this is a 1440p monitor and this is only 1080p which is no problem. We'll just set them both to 1080p. Yes, I'd like to keep the changes. That's why I wanted to, you know, initiate it from the beginning with. Kind of love Windows. Nonetheless. Ah, there we are. Now to start off, we'll just do paint. Good old MS Paint. Get around my tripod here. Just kind of get an idea of the parallax. It's pretty good there. There is a bit of a gap between the pen tip and the actual display. That's not too bad, especially being, you know, I've not done any calibration, no nothing. This is right out of the box. That's kind of my main purpose of this video. Excuse me. Is to see what the experience would be like for a typical person. Now I would do paint to SA. Yeah, that's good enough. Go ahead and set the stabilizer to the sub 15. I could definitely work with this. But yeah. Definitely happy with that. Right out of the box. Really surprised that it wasn't any trouble installing the hardware first, then the drivers. Usually that's not how you go. But I'm glad to see that there wasn't too much trouble. So, yeah. I may do a video later on when I've had time to play with this a bit. So, yeah. Later.